All right, let's get at this today. Again, I think we gotta bring these lines right down. Nice. All right. Put my top back on my pen so it doesn't dry out. And as always, I'm gonna start with the. Uh, I'm gonna start with the sky. I'm gonna wet this a little bit. I'd love to hear from you if you, you know, if you drop me a comment and let me know where you're from. I'd love to, I would really love to know where everybody's from. I think it just makes it infinitely more interesting when you can actually communicate with people from, uh, you know, really the other side of the world and find out where everybody is from and what they do and it just makes being an artist so much you know so much cooler when you can you know actually communicate with other people from other cultures i think it's i think it's just super cool really i'm just gonna clean up a little bit of this with my tissue right along there get some of that blue out of that hedgerow we're gonna put along there that's great and you can take that blue out of those trees if you like but it's not really a necessity all right so like I said this is fall everything is pretty much harvested already so we need a lot of brown a lot of you know sort of sienna golden kind of color so I'm using Sennelier paint and I'm going to make this Okay, so I let that uh, sit for a couple of minutes and we're going to put in some dark green here, which is essentially the blue I was using earlier, 
mixed together with um, this green to give me a darker blue. And we're just going to put a darker green, I should say. Put some of that in there. We're going to put a little bit of this in here. Like that. And we're just going to put a touch of this in a couple of spots along here. Just like that. This actually right here has quite a bit of red and orange in it. So I'm actually just going to take my brush and put some color like this in here very delicately There's a little bit along here too I don't know what this is that's turned that color this part of the fall but now that's a little bit too red we'll just take suck some of that out of there and then of course we're going to come along here with a touch of yellow That should give us a interesting orange along there. Nice. Put a little bit more yellow in here. Just like that. And a little bit here. All right, those are kind of mixing together. Pretty interesting on there. Now, we have a lot of yellow going on right now so I'm gonna put a lot of yellow in these trees different size of them not just the not just the top or the right or the left like vary it up quite a bit just like that nice it's turning out all right Quite a bit of yellow in there. Now I'm gonna go and just pick up a little bit of red and if it mixes together it mixes together and if it doesn't it doesn't that's all right too. Red some more red and you get decide, you know, decide, you know, which trees are going to be red, which trees are going to be, you know, whatever color you want them to be. Just like that, nice. I'm going to bump this up here with a little bit more red since I got it. Look at how those colors are mixing together in there. That's great. Again, a lot, a lot of this is just, you know, just waiting, just allow it, allow it to all blend together, however it is it's going to blend together. You know, and you can always go and pick up more pigment like this, and just drop your pigment in wherever it is that you're going to drop it in. And I'm trying to keep this, you know, as a sketch would be. That doesn't mean that you have to. You might be trying to turn this into a finished work. That's all right, too. And that's it. If you're currently a subscriber, thank you very much. And if you're not currently a subscriber, Please consider subscribing to my channel. Drop me a line. I'd love to know where everybody's from. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.